So you welcome back to Radio Winnipeg ninety eight point three FM and the program is Radio Lecture. The course is EDC three five one Introduction to Guidance and Counseling in Education. And this evening we are looking at the importance of guidance and counseling in Ghanaian education system. And my name is Small Ferry Dankwa helping me in the studio is my student Benny Samosa. And we have so far looked at the importance from these perspectives we have looked at one guidance and counseling contributes to the importance of school curriculum we have looked at it from this also that it enables the realization of students potentials it helps children with developing challenges or special needs it contributes to the mutual adjustment of students in schools we have also said it helps students to develop appropriate learning and study skills. We've also um, gone through heterogeneity of the school population will bring about integration because guidance and counseling facilitates such. And then we were on the stretch enabling students to make informed choices. And so, Ms. Amosa, what's your take on this one? Well, guidance and counseling helps uh, students and also it enables them to know themselves more and know what choices to make mm. in their educational life. Well, in education, as in, um, in, as in courses to choose for schools, as in um, their strength and their weaknesses in the course they are choosing, in um, how and how to study in class and how to adjust to school mm. or how to adjust to their studies okay mm. and so as she said um, we, you are looking at educational perspective where the student is able to um, locate him or herself well in the environment he or she finds him or herself and so that the person doesn't see him or herself as a stranger too much in the society was normal when you go to school we would give you an opportunity for an orientation uh, where you adjust to other people you meet and then you know we you know your environment the do's and the don'ts in the educational system and then also it helps you to also select um, some um, courses that will benefit you so let's look at vocational um, choices um, how does guidance and counseling help students make vocational choices well individ every individual has his or in her own choice as in their strength and their weakness their interest in in vocations some have the ability to draw others have their the skills and the ability to cook others have um, the skills and the ability to do other things so with guidance and counseling it helps you to know yourself more as um, someone who draws well even without guidance or without any training formal training you're able to it guides you to make the right choice of let's say um directing you in choosing a um a, a, a career say, yeah yes. a career in drawing let's say a student who has been positioned to be in a catering school who also has a skill in drawing can design cakes or other things for a caterer to bake can design them and then the caterer can take over from there okay so it means that multiple uh, multidisciplinary choices are also there yes. so you are not fixed because you draw um you you can't be a caterer Mm -hmm. Well, you can draw and you can still be a caterer, yes. but you may not be the one baking the cake. Yes. So you are you become an artist, mm -hmm. sure. and then you are your 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 line of strength is catering, yes. where you you develop concepts, mm -hmm. you you design cakes, yeah. you design um um um, um garnish um, you garnish foods yeah. electronically on devices oh. mm -hmm. to help um, those who do it to serve. Be also able to appreciate how to maybe decorate cakes yes. or and also in food. fashion in fashion as yes. well so we have uh, uh, fashion, fashion artists design, fashion yes. designers 
and so on and so forth yes so they may not necessarily sew the clothing but they would make the clothes and then design them then you give it to the the dressmakers to put them together and make them uh, give them life right mm -hmm. and so personal social is also here where we're looking at social and uh, personal issues um, what's what's your take on that well personal social issues um everyone has a social life we have friends we have family so with guidance and counseling it helps you to know how to move around with everyone to coexist with people around you if you have even issues personal issues due to your social problems it helps you to know how to deal with it so it won't affect your studies or other things you do mm. yeah. so social what are some of the experiences that comes to mind uh, as students i mean students are no different from ordinary people on the streets are at home mm. so what are some of the challenges uh, we go through that can have effects on the other two, the educational and vocational selection, through our social choices? Um, well... Okay, let's say you, you came to school, then uh, when you came to school, you met this guy, and then this guy pesters you, wants to have a relationship with you, you know you're unable to even focus with your books, and so by adding um, the relationship, you are sure that it's going to derail your attention from your yes, books. Yes. It's going to weaken your strengths. It's going to take more of your time, thereby not allowing you to be able to achieve the goals for which you came to school. Yes. And so then it's most likely it's going to have an influence on your vocational selection because even mm -hmm. though you may identify your strengths, you don't have the, the, the concentration the emotional strength Trend, or abilities yeah. to focus on your education, education too, yes. so that you're able to achieve these um, yes. um, set goals yes. you have. So, yes, dear listener, you're on 98.3. We will divide your calls and your test messages on 0503923158. Same on WhatsApp, 0503923158. Or you may post your comments or contributions on Radio Windy Bay 98.3 FM, streaming live at www.uaw.edu.gh. And you can also catch us live. And you may as well post your questions or comments there. So we are all here for you. We are looking at the importance of guidance and counseling in Ghanaian educational system. Prior on the list, or um, big on the list, is curriculum its influence on curriculum development and under that we have looked at other sectors and at this call we are looking at how it develops confidence and positive attitude to life and work and we're saying that guidance and counseling helps develop confidence the assertiveness of students some students are unable to publicly talk, they are unable to speak, they are unable to contribute, even though they have ideas and they cannot. So students are encouraged to visit the counseling centers or the school counselor or the guidance coordinator who in turn would help the student to find himself or herself through some interventions and then this gives that of, um, student an opportunity to be very confident of self, sure. very, very confident of self, and then is able to develop him or herself towards his or her intended career options or career selections, and then is most likely to do better when student is confident of self. And then also positive attitudes to life. Um, most of the times um, when in school, certain challenges come our way and we are unable to take ourselves off these challenges. And the counseling, the guidance and counseling coordinators help students. For, sorry, for example, bereavement, there's an unfortunate incident at home and it's, um, it's announced to this student. Um, students are unable to focus or put him or herself back. And it's getting close to examinations. Um, the efforts put in by guidance and counseling um, aspects help most students in this category to find themselves back quickly and are able to adjust and focus on 
the primary objective of being in school, which is to gain a, um, 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 to gain knowledge and to be able to account for the knowledge gained through examinations, and then is able to score even better when given the opportunity to um, have guidance and counselling services. And um, in school, does this, um, does this happen in school where you teach before you came to school, where students have problems and then the guidance coordinators assist them to come out of these challenges? Sure. Does it often happen? Not often, okay. for sure. Because mm. in most schools, um, the guidance services is not really um, um, students don't really know much about it, yeah. yes, but it's not really often. It's yeah. something we give as an advice given, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah, so that's one of, one of the biggest challenges which will come to that is where most students are even scared yes. of counseling because sometimes uh, you are told that it is only when you have broken heart that you go to see a counselor. Yes, but it's actually a myth. It is not true. Mm -hmm. um, if any situation bothers you, yes. being financial, being academic, being social, whatever, yes. once it bothers on you, please seek counseling mm -hmm. and it would help you. So if your child is even a year or two, we have counselors who would help that child to gain him or herself back and then become very useful to society. And so um, we say positive attitudes to all life and work. Some people, because they did not receive these services in school, become um, truants, for example, truancy. Um, they develop this culture of life in school where they are not um, are responsible to time lines they, they don't do assignments, they don't submit assignments on time. All these things are there to help the student develop. So once student lacks in that department, then student is referred to the counselor, for example, for counselor to help the student address it by him or herself. So that in life, in future, you understand why you are giving timelines. Because if you are supposed to, for example, in this radio station, you are supposed to read the news at 8, and by 8 o'clock, you are now leaving home. The, the 8 o'clock time will not wait for you. So then you understand why you have to be punctual. You understand why you have to meet your deadlines in life. That's in reality. And so guidance and, um, guidance and counseling in the school system helps develop students to become responsible future adults in real life so that they're able to help themselves when they are challenged with a lot of these um, life issues. You're also saying that it helps students see the excellence in education and aim higher, and aim higher. Once upon a time, I was in a corporation, and in the lift getting to the deputy director of that organization was a cleaner, and she was murmuring to another person, like complaining. What were their complaints? That their bosses use their lifts up and down, and then they take big. They still take big cash. More than them, they have to clean clean the staircases downstairs, upstairs, up to top. They were making a lot of complaints. So I listened. Then, from who I am, I would normally would speak. So I said, mm -hmm. "Mommy." All that you have said is true, but the input here is the qualification for the jobs that were made available. And the one your qualification qualified you was the one you applied, applied for. for. And so it means that if you see the excellence in education, you aim higher to get the best of the qualifications or the highest of the qualifications so that you get the best of the jobs. I hope that is very clear to uh, my listeners or dear students. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So if you're able to understand education in that context, that if you aim higher or you understand the excellence of education and you aim higher at developing yourself towards higher laurels in education as an achievement, 
then most likely you would also be getting the top notch jobs which also usually pays better sure. uh -huh. so what qualifies you is your certification and your certification is what will pay you the the, the, the salary, salary the type yes. of certificate you hold and the job that it's, um, it's intended to qualify you for is what will pay you the remuneration that befits it and so dear student out there if you understand this then i'm encouraging everyone to aim higher because education is good apart from the fact that it broadens your mind it makes you live well it also pays you well if you learn higher or you aim higher to develop a student's academic work or to depend students academically and then make students work accountably and so accountability is here education gives you or guidance and counseling in education helps the learner to become accountable responsible so we say we teach morals as well most people are not cooperating in life because of weak morals or good sense of accountability and guidance and counseling the school system helps learners or students or pupils to appreciate that it is not right to take what is not yours yes. it is not right to take what is not yours how would i explain that to you dear student if someone took your iphone pro max that is not his or hers and decided to keep it would you would you feel good about it i guess the answer would be no so same way why would you be put in an office of responsibility and possibly connive to take what is not yours it's the same principle and so guidance and counseling in the school system when we resource it even better will help these um commentary these challenges these um, um discussion or discourse we have on corruption here and there it's it helps to nib it corruption cannot be taken off our 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 our, our system entirely but it can be minimized and guidance and counseling in the school system here accounts for this it can or it helps students become academically resounding and also become accountable or they work towards accountability and so that's why when you are at the exam we see that you don't cheat so students you don't like us when we vigilate and we say don't cheat and we are standing there ensuring that you account for what you have you don't add someone's own to yours because that is not right that's the import so you are supposed to learn by yourself and reproduce what you know all by yourself when it comes to examinations so now that we are um, heading towards or getting up towards exams i'm expecting you my dear listeners out there and every student to ensure that you become accountable to self and be responsible also to self. Do not go and pick. Don't stretch your neck. Don't take foreign materials into the examination room because that does not make you accountable or responsible. Do, 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 do you see this happening as a student? Yes. Mm. Do you see yourself or do you see these happening in, in the exam room? People want to copy. Well, <laughs> students being students, everyone has one way or the other done it. So um, I think since guidance and counseling is um, guiding us not to, we, we, will, we will try and miss it. <laughs> So on behalf of all students, you try and not copy. 
Sure. That's very good. So, yes, we say that um, be responsible, be accountable, and then aim higher. Aim higher. Guidance and counseling and education helps you to appreciate the excellence of education. And so, when students misbehave, Often um, there is a panel set for students and then you are introduced to the panel and then often you'll be referred to the counsellor who would take you through sessions to help you appreciate that the opportunity you have for being in school is one that you cannot toy with. And so you need to pay attention, you need to be disciplined, you need to be focused. So guidance and counseling in the school system helps students or learners to adjust from bad behavior to good behavior so that they can still be offered education or continuous education which helps them now appreciate the essence of education then helps them also to aim mm -hmm. higher so that they can become useful citizens for our motherland, Ghana. At this um, stage, we'll pause briefly for um, a, a break, and then we'll be also expecting your calls on 0503923158, WhatsApp as well, or on Radio Windy Bay on Facebook, 98.3 FM. Stick and stay.
So you welcome to Radio Windy Bay 98.3 FM and the program is Radio Lecture. The course is EDC 351, Introduction to Guidance and Counseling in Education. Today we have looked at the importance of guidance and counseling in Ghanaian education system. My name is Samuel Farid and helping me in class today is Miss Benis Amosa. And today we have looked at it variously from the contribution to the development of school curriculum. So we said guidance and counseling helps develop the school's curriculum. It, we say it enables um, the realization of students' potential. We said guidance and counseling helps children with developmental challenges or special needs. We said guidance and counseling contributes to the mutual adjustment of students in the school. We also said that guidance and counseling helps students to develop appropriate learning or study skills. We also said guidance and counseling in school systems enhances heterogeneity of the school population, whereby it brings about integration because guidance and counseling facilitates same. We also said that guidance and counseling education enables students to make informed choices that is through their educational, vocational, and personal social lives. And then we have also said that it helps students to develop in their um, academics and also work, work accountably. And so I would give uh, Ms. Amosa the opportunity to tell us in this lecture the two things she has um, taken on and then she would bring the curtain down on us today. So um, in, a, in, in two minutes, what have you learned today? Um, I've learned a lot today. And I, I learned guidance and counseling helps to develop in student confidence and positive attitude to life and work. Okay. Um, and there was a second one. Also, I learned guidance and counseling helps students see the essence in education and aim higher. Okay. So, dear uh, student out there, dear listener out there, this evening we have learned a lot. And from your own colleague, she says, the development of student confidence and positive attitude towards life and work is one of the things she has learned. And I believe it will also help you to, and as well, help students to see the essence of education and aim higher. So, these are some of the importance of guidance and counseling in the educational system in Ghana. On that note, we'll bring the curtain down. We wish you all the best. This semester has been a very beautiful one. By next week, you will be writing EDC 351, and we wish you the best from the Department of Educational Foundations. And before I go, um, Bernice has a quick one here. I'd like to wish all uh, guidance and counseling students all the best in their upcoming examination, especially PD2 and um, everyone in PD2. All right, so PD2s, that's one of your colleagues out there. And also to all our level 300 guidance and counseling students on behalf of the HOD and all members at the um, Department of Educational Foundations, we wish you well and we say, be the best you can and you can be. Thank you and stay blessed. Thank you.